Hello and welcome to your third video in an introduction to bash programming. Let's see um, if you remember the stuff from the last lesson. So the tilde was the current user's home folder. So in my case, my user is JSLVTR. My home folder would be users forward slash JSLVTR. So I can go and do CD tilde. And now I'm in my home folder. Excellent. So this is getting a bit messy now with all this text, which we don't really need. We are in a home folder. So you can pretty much forget about the things we've done before because they've been the things we don't really care about anymore. So how do we clear the console? Well, handily enough, there is a, a command that does just that. If you type clear, everything just goes away. It doesn't actually go away. Things are still there, but the terminal creates a new kind of workspace for you. But if you really find that you actually need what was there because it has some information that you're looking for, you can always go back up and look at it, but you don't see it unless you want to. Okay, so we're in, in our home folder. We can do ls to find what we've got here. And there's quite a few things there. Let's create a directory in which we can test our bash commands. We can do this by make mk directory dir. Make directory kind of reads off the command name. And then we specify which which directory we want to create. So here it's going to be bash tests. And then we can change directory and go to bash tests. If you're ever wondering why my text autocompletes, I am simply pressing the tab key that is right at the left of the Q key. This autocompletes if there is only one option. So after typing bash, there was nothing else in my directory that started with bash. So I can press tab and my system knows that the only place I can possibly want to go to is this folder bash tests. So pressing tab will autocomplete that for me. If you have multiple choices, then pressing tab will not autocomplete it for you. Okay, so here we are. We've learned how to make a directory and we've learned how to change that directory and how to list files. Let's learn how to create a file from scratch. That is fairly simple as we can simply tell the system to touch a new file and this file will be created empty into our system. So for example, touch test, sorry, test.txt. So now this file can be viewed if we press list structure. And there we have it. Test.txt is there. The long format will show us that it is zero bytes long. This file is effectively empty. Okay, so what if I want to move it somewhere else? Imagine I've written some content into my test file and I want to move it to a, another folder. Well, I can do that fairly easily. I can press move, MV stands for move, and then the file. I press TE, there's no other file that starts with TE in my current directory. So I press tab and it autocompletes. And then I can select which folder I want to move it to. Imagine I want to move it to my home folder. I can press this and it would move it, or this and that would move it as well, because my home folder is the home folder to the current folder. This might sound a bit confusing, but simply know that the two dots are gonna move it up one folder. For now, let's do this. And now if we press LS, we'll find that this is no longer there because it's been moved. If we go to my home folder, we can effectively see it here. If I manage here, pressing LS dash L, will show us that this file has indeed been modified not very long ago. The current time is 1905 of the 21st of October. So, yeah. There we go. We can not undo commands, but we can move test back to um, bash tests. And now if we go back to bash tests and we ls, there we have our file. 
So what I did here quite quickly is move test.txt to the folder bash tests, change directory into bash tests, and then display the contents of bash tests, which showed me that my file is indeed inside here. One last command is for copying. So if I want to have the my file both inside bash tests and in my home folder, I can do cp, that stands for copy, test.txt into my home folder. And then ls shows me that test is inside bash tests. Going to my home folder, show me that test is still in my home folder because I just copied it. There we go. So in the next one, we'll be going over how to remove files and how to start modifying the contents of files. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, please zone down posting comments and suggestions and requests below, and I'll see you in the next one.